okay welcome to the channel and welcome to deep rock galactic now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can effectively use the no spawn hack uh, you can use it best on an extraction mission or a liquid refinery mission you can also use it to some degree on like egg hunt morkai uh I like sabotage, but I wouldn't really use it on sabotage. Though it could be very effective, you just have to fight the boss at the end. But then you'll have to wait for the mule to come back, so that's not very useful. But Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick display. Let's swap to the driller. Rock and stone. Let me handle the digging. I'm going to give you a quick display on how to get no enemies. So we're going to go into the, uh, we're going to go into the mission. Okay, so power. So you're going to go into the settings, into the internal settings on your PlayStation, your PS4, your PS5. You're going to go down to time, put the time back by an hour while you're in the menu. And what that will do is the enemies won't spawn for at least another hour because the time has to catch up. Okay, so we're going to go into our extraction. See, easily five double experience, has it five. We're going to have no issues at all. Let's go! Going to have a good quick look around. The an area filled with the quarks, and you get to bring them all back. Search for a blue shimmering light and extract the quark from within the walls. We've sent in a specialized heavy lifter, and we're expecting heavy resistance, so the lifter's been equipped with heavy armaments. But keep focused, it's about the goods. Okay. As you can see, we have the Fester Fleas, but they can't move. They'll stand still. There are absolutely no enemies that will spawn. You'll hear the noises of enemies, but there'll be none on the map. Not until the timer catches up. So we have no enemies if we look around. Uh, and you can easily do this again and again and again. You'll probably earn something around 16, 17,000 in about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how good your team is. Uh, depending on what characters you use, like the driller is super effective for getting aquas, so that makes the job super easy, way more faster. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can, again, do no enemies on a lethal 5 liquid Morkite level. So, we're going to have the exact same method. Just going to get into the dropship and go to the mission. Again, while you're in the loading screen... Okay, so we simply have gone back to the menu, uh, got into our PlayStation menu and changed the internal clock that's on the system and put it back from 7 a.m. to 6 a.m. Remember, leave no one behind. Now again, Again, you're not going to have Bosco. Bosco's not going to function, but we don't need Bosco anyway. And again, and again, we have zero enemies. We have the Fester Fleas again that can't move. The Fester Fleas are just victims. Victims in this level. See? We have no enemies to face. Not a single enemy about. And again, this one you don't require a mule. So, it's very simple to also complete. Though to be said, the double experience is a lot rarer with this mission. Like, to find a double experience liquid Morkai is harder than anything else. Washed one. Easy peasy. You can do this one. 
Say if you've got an assignment and you need to do a liquid morkai, you can get it on get it done on five really easily. Whether you, whether you do it on regular difficult, uh, regular point or double experience, either way it's going to be super easy with no enemies. Okay, now for our third part, I'm going to tell you how you can effectively use this no spawn hack for the deep dive and you can also use it for the elite deep dive so we've got we've already done our weekly deep dive here now our first mission if i believe if i remember so was a uh, egg hunt i think egg hunt with the secondary mission being a uh, mini mule repair so with something like an egg hunt mission you can set your internal clock back let's say eight to ten minutes let's say eight to ten minutes put it back in the internal clock on your playstation 4 or your playstation 5 and what that will allow you to do is allow for no enemies to spawn for eight to ten minutes the mule will be inactive as well but it will give you time to stack everything together uh, and then when the mule does come back and the enemies respawn on the map you can just get everything into the mule simply call the drop pod and get out of there as quick as possible so avoid fighting as many enemies as possible not use that much ammo as well so you have plenty of ammo saved up for your next deep dive uh, and then the next mission after that is a uh, liquid refinery that we did so in the loading screen between mission one and mission two it doesn't really matter how much you put the clock back because you don't require a mule for a liquid more kite level so you can just put the mission back let's say one hour and then you'll literally have no enemies spawn on your liquid morkite level so literally no enemies to fight you can also pick up lots of nitra to have it ready for your third mission if you have a tricky third mission say a dreadnought or something you can't avoid a dreadnought you're gonna have you're gonna have to fight it either way and then during the loading screen of your second to third mission now this one was a salvage so again we had about i think eight to ten minutes we, we gave ourselves when we played it this week and so we collected up all the mules uh collected up a bunch of nitra i think our secondary was uh a morkite we had 150 morkite as our secondary mission so we collected up all the morkite and put it into the ship because with a salvage mission you have a big drop ship already there so you don't actually need the mule in order to put everything into the ship. However, you do need to press the mule to activate the uh, the mini mules and to to uh, I guess to start the second part of the mission and to uh, fix the uh, the big block and to get the uplink started. You have to have the mule, so you have to wait for the timer to catch up. So, say you give yourself ten minutes, collect your resources, collect your more kite, collect the mules call the mule enemies will spawn in you're gonna to have to fight off the enemies uh but again you can you can have lots of nitro by that point so you have lots of ammunition to fight the enemy off you'll be fully prepared and a lot more prepped than what you would be if you didn't use the time hack so then you've just got to obviously do the first uplink get the batteries do the second uplink and then get in the ship once it's done and you're finished now so technically you won't have to fight many enemies on the first mission you'll have to fight zero enemies on the second mission and the third one you'll have to fight enemies for about half the mission i guess the main part of the mission which is the hardest but you're going to be fully prepped and fully ready it's not going to be anywhere as hard so i hope that's i hope you've enjoyed the information i've given i um, hope it helps you do better in both your deep dives and your elite deep dives and it helps you do better in your your liquid morkite and your extractions. If you want to use it in other missions, you've got to be a bit more articulate with how you use it. Like 10 minutes, 5 minutes. You don't want to put a too big of a timer. Because then you have to wait for the mule. And if it's like, if you say if you put it back an hour back, you're going to have to wait an hour. And you might as well just quit the mission at that point. Because you don't want to stand around for an hour doing nothing. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a like. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon in my next video.